True Ball Vortex Pro Amp. We've been coming to Augusta now off and on for like the last 15 years. We were here for a couple of years and we went to uh, Fort Gordon for a couple of years and we came back here for a couple of years. The support we get from Columbia County is fantastic. So it's a very active facility. You got campers, you got boaters, you got uh, disc golfers, and this weekend we got archers. We're in Wildwood Park. It's in Columbia County, which is adjacent to Augusta, Georgia. And we're here as the hosts of Columbia County, and they've been supporting us all week. And this is exactly the site we'll be doing the pro shoot down this weekend. The pros will be standing by right where I am right now, shooting in that direction. Uh, last year we did have Jeff Hopkins float one, as they say. It got away and it was out in the lake. It's going to be a very, very unique opportunity. And really the only concern we have when we're in an open area like this is the wind. Because that's going to maybe play a little havoc with uh, the timing of some of the shoot downs and stuff like that. Which we didn't have a problem with in Texas. So we're going to have to... We're going to find out how that plays out. We're probably taking up somewhere in the neighborhood of about 300 acres. Uh, we have 14 20 target courses. We have a 40 target practice range and 20 target loop saver range. There's actually 17 20 target ranges if you want to look at it that way. Uh, you got ranges that are going to be going up, they're going to be going down, they're going to be going sideways. Um, uh, the lower ranges down in here where people are more senior people, they're very level, very flat. Uh, you get back in some areas where the pros are going to be and you get some really severe ups and downs that they're going to have to hike around a little bit. But uh, because of that, it changes, it gives it a much different appearance than a lot of our tournaments. Uh, you got to be ready to shoot uphill, you got to be ready to shoot downhill. Uh, you're judging things that you really haven't seen that much of this year with us. Uh, plus, you're in an area that um, it's mature trees. In fact, one of the hardest things we have to do here is make sure that when you're standing on stake one or stake five, you can't see targets four and six and not know which target you're supposed to be shooting. So that's kind of the challenge of setting these ranges up for us is to make sure that everybody knows what they're shooting, where they're shooting, and, and kind of keep it orderly. By going to only six events this year instead of seven events, uh, I think it's helped us to have people be able to get off work and get to the events and attend and do the kind of things that they want to do. Um, as far as the competition this year, we've opened up some new classes that are very successful. We have this senior known, uh, senior known 50 class, and it's grown. We only got like 40 guys shooting that class. And these are guys who a lot of them used to shoot at the pro level. It's a semi-pro level class. It gives them a transitional class to go to. Um, we got guys who used to sh that were senior shooters that didn't shoot ASA. They come in and started shooting that class. So I think that's doing really well. Our known pro classes continue to be a very successful class for us. And most of our pro classes this year, our numbers are actually up. So uh, that's, a, that's a good sign that, that the, whole, the whole part of whether you're known or unknown, both those components at ASA are still continuing to grow and thrive.